This is for Governor Marley. Do you have power of attorney to act on her behalf? I'm yes. Her dashing husband. <laughs> Not good enough. Oh, well, there is this. Oh my! Oh my! Oh, it's so odd. There's a gentleman here to use the vault. Are you? Hey you! Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Well, everything seems to be in order, Mr. Marley. That's Three good. As you wish, sir. As you wish, sir. If you'll just follow me into the vault, we can open up your grandfather-in-law's safe deposit chest. Hmm. Ah, well, here it is, sir. The safe deposit chest of H.T. Marley, just as he left it over 20 years ago. Hmm. Wow, what an amazing collection of junk. Why would Governor <laughs> Marley store garbage like this in a bank? That Governor Marley was an eccentric old soft, wasn't he? <laughs> you know, we were all crushed when he disappeared off the face of the earth like he did. Anyway, well, I've got some loans to turn down. You just let me know when you're done here, and I'll come running. Gee, thanks. Thanks. Well, I guess I better start looking for that deed to the governor's mansion so I can get home to Elaine. Let's see now. Hot it's water bottle. Freeport. Monkey what pacifier. Crocodile. Uh, uh, Jimmy uh, Hoffa. Mm. Self tattoo kit. Something fishy is going on. You really should have called me first. We have rules about leaving the vault unattended. Gee, I'm sorry. I'll go back. And I'll see if I can scrounge up a rock. Wax a little Come on. Yikes! Who are you supposed to be? Isn't it obvious? I've got brush three foot. No, you're not. Well, what makes you say that? Well, for one thing, Guybrush is much better looking than you are. <laughs> and for another, the real Guybrush doesn't smell like anchovy halitosis. Ooh. All right, mate. Bucko. That's enough of that. Back away from the Barney heirlooms and be quick about it. Hmm. Now, Mr. Threepwood, take a good long look at the last face you'll ever see. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that deregulated banking would lead to this. Hmm. Well done. I'll pick up the sword. The medium sponge. I'll never give up. The big sponge. There seems to be something inside. It's a music box. Hey, there's a bottle of fine grog behind this music box. Oh, forget the vault. Just give me everything else. Phew, this thing reeks. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going brush three pud! Mighty bank robber! That doesn't need a sponge. That doesn't need a sponge. That doesn't need a sponge. We've got you surrounded! Uh, okay. Maybe the big sponges. That doesn't need a sponge. That doesn't need a sponge. That doesn't need a sponge. No, oh, yeah. Stupid. Didn't get me. That doesn't need to be sliced up. <laughs> I broke the hinge off, but I broke the sword too. Now I should be able to use the sponges. Everybody leave. That doesn't need a sponge. I get all the loot and the safe is too small. out of here. The crack is too small. Oh, really? Come on. The sword seems.
seems to be widening the crack a bit. Can okay, I use the sponges? Yeah, I don't now. want to stick my hand in the crack any more than I have to. Don't be a hero! Okay. Oh, Thanks. Just give me everything else. Yeah, I don't want to stick my hand in the crack any more than I have to. It's a bottle of the 67 Chateau de Spittle. A fine vintage grog with an insouciant flavor and a saucy aftertaste. Oh yeah. Oh my. Oui. Robbed by Guybrush Brush Freakwood. <laughs> hey, what a jerk! Where'd he go? Hey, what's all the commotion? Get him! him. <laughs> <laughs> You're under arrest, Mr. Threepwood. Right, down to the jailhouse with you. Several hours later. All right, you. Didn't your mum ever explain that bank robbery isn't nice? It wasn't me. It was the no-nose bandit. Right, no-nose bandit. Or perhaps it was the guy we caught red-handed. You! <laughs> Haven't found the loop yet. So find it with the real robber. So let me go and get cracking. Detective work isn't my job. If you want to clear your name, you've got a few things to do. Okay, what? I need the perpetrator, I need proof he was at the scene of the crime, and I need proof that he committed the crime. You know, okay. it'd be a lot easier if the I could three describe you. Island quest. That three wood. Around here, we do things by the book. Now, since this is your first offence, You'll be placed under house arrest. I get to go back to the mansion and play with Timmy? No. You are confined to Luca Island. You are not permitted to leave until and unless you are cleared of the crime of bank robbery. To make sure you don't leave, you are required to wear the voodoo anklet of extreme discomfort. I was wondering about that. It's <laughs> uncomfortable. Can you loosen it? Well, that wouldn't be the point then, would it? It gets a lot more comfortable if you try to leave the island. <sighs> At least I'm not in jail. <laughs> Come out of this. I'm innocent. It was the no-nose pirate that robbed the bank. Who? Peg nose Pete. Listen, if I had a monkey for every time some penny anti crook tried to pin their criminal malfeasance on Peg nose Pete, I'd have enough monkeys to work out a reasonable sequel to Hamlet by now. <laughs> so what you're saying is that you don't believe me. <laughs> Why don't you believe that Peg nose Pete robbed the bank? Because, Mr. Freepwood, it's just not Peg Nose's style. If Peg Nose had robbed a bank, it would have snuck in under the cover of darkness, used a clever series of weights and pulleys to open the vault, and would have absconded with the loot without leaving a trace of his presence. Peg Nose Pete would never simply enter a bank in the middle of the day, waving a pistol around like a common thug. It's beneath him. Hmm. Just for the sake of argument, what would it take to prove my innocence? Well, since you don't have an alibi, You'd have to turn the finger of blame towards the real culprit. Great! Uh, how do I do that? Off the top of my head, I can think of three things that would do the job. A. New evidence would have to surface linking the so-called real perpetrator to the crime. Two. The stolen bank loot would have to be recovered. And Z. The real Z. would have to be caught. And a. True and Z. Kick for a pirate with a keen analytical mind like myself. I'll keep your cell warm. <laughs> Can you remove this voodoo anklet? I really need to get back to my wife. Sorry, you're stuck on this island until your trial arrives. Or until you manage to prove that you're... <laughs> innocent. <laughs> when can I expect my trial? As soon as the judge returns. Great, when's that? He should be back within a few weeks. When his vacation's over. A few weeks? I need to get back to Melee Island today! Well, I guess you should have thought of that before you went and robbed that bank now, shouldn't you? But I'm innocent! Tell it yeah, the, judge. the problem is that I didn't rob anything. <laughs> Wow, this voodoo anklet sure is uncomfortable. That's why it's called the voodoo anklet of extreme discomfort. <laughs> How's the investigation going? What investigation? You were caught red-handed. I'm just waiting for the judge. Oh. <laughs> You're not going to lift a finger to help me, are you? No. But what about justice? Haven't you heard? Justice is blind. Not to mention That's lazy, apparently. Fortune. Quiet, you. But how do I go about proving my innocence again? <sighs> Catch the real perpetrator, recover the loot, and come up with evidence to back your story up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where can I find Pegno's Pete? If I knew that, he'd be locked up right now. Because he framed me for robbing the bank? No, because he's wanted for approximately 300 other crimes on the <laughs> 
Where can I find Pegnose Pete? If I knew that, he'd be locked up right now. Because he framed me for robbing the bank? No, because he's wanted for approximately 300 other crimes on Luca Island. Well, I better get out there and prove my innocence. Stay out of trouble. At Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden! Excellent! Uh, I have no idea why I said that. Ew, greasy. I guess they use it on these Iron Maiden spikes to allow smooth impaling. Now there's a manly pirate. It says, Contra Legis Marinas Latrocinium Maris Est. I think that means, actually, I have no idea what it means. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I don't remember much Latin. Hey, Hotis. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm a victim of society. Really? Let me guess. You were framed, right? How did you know? Eh, just a hunch. Some old guy with a weird accent accused me of stealing flowers from his front yard. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling an incredible feeling of deja vu. Would it help if I gave you a breath mint? Wait, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Past. What is it with you and flowers? It's a plot, I tell you! People are to make me seem less fearsome and piratey by accusing me of being the kind of pirate who likes to pick flowers. If it's any comfort, Otis, I never found you all that fearsome to begin with. <laughs> uh, go pick a pack of posies. Pick a pack of posies. When are you due to be released? He'll be released just about the same time you prove your... <laughs> innocence. Hey! Just because my captain is a notorious bank robber, there's no reason to take it out on me. Oh, this, Jay. You're not helping. <laughs> See you later, Otis. You're gonna get me out of here, right? Yes. And as in the first game, is dressed la just like me. Oh, Brittany. That's a very aesthetically pleasing fountain, I think. I'm no dog. <laughs> Why, hello there, Brittany. Oh, hi. Why do you sound like a sick kraken? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry you lost your job. Oh, it's all right. I didn't like working at that bank much anyway. I always really wanted to be in show business. <laughs> what kind of show business? I want to be a singer and have my own backup dancers. I don't have any skills or experience, but I figure with the right attitude, there's no stopping me. <laughs> She's Brittany. Me too. Maybe we could start an act together. Mm, I don't think so. I'm looking for someone a little more... Piratey? Mm, cool. Then why were you wasting away at the bank? I was making ends meet while I put my act together. Guess I needed the push. I was getting too wrapped up in the whole financial system thing. <laughs> <laughs> that works out for you. What are you going to do now? Well... I always wanted to get into show business. Oh, so. Hope that works out for you. Is it too late to open an account? You're funny, Mr. Threepwood. <laughs> <laughs> the bank is no concern of mine anymore. No concern of mine anymore. I know someone who has a crush on you. Oh! 